Grahamedhis, so-called grahasthas, who have no spiritual knowledge, think that this teaching is the greatest platform of happiness, although actually it is a source of distress. The Krupanas, the fools, who are just the opposite of Brahmanas, are not satisfied by repeated senseless enjoyment. Those who are dhira, however, who are sober and who tolerate this teaching are not subjected to the sufferings of fools and rascals. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. Metalists think that the sexual indulgence is the greatest happiness in this material world, and therefore they make elaborate plans to satisfy their senses especially the genitals. This is generally found everywhere and especially found in the Western world, where there are regular arrangements to satisfy sex life in different ways. Actually, however, this has not made anyone happy. Even the hippies who have given up all the materialistic comforts of their fathers and grandfathers cannot give up the sensational happiness of sex life. Such persons are described here as krupanas, misers. The human form of life is a great asset, for in this life one can fulfill the goal of existence. Unfortunately, however, because of lack of educational and culture, education and culture, people are victimized by the false happiness of sex life. The so Lord Maharaj therefore advises one not to be misled by this civilization of sense gratification and especially not by sex life. Rather, one should be sober avoid sense gratification and be Krishna conscious. The lusty person which compared to a foolish miser never gets happiness by sense gratification. The influence of material nature is very difficult to surpass. But as stated by Krishna in Bhagavad Gita in chapter, Mamevadi Prabhupadyanti Maya Metam Tarantiti. If one voluntarily submits to the lotus feet of Krishna, he can save very easily. In reference to the low-grade happiness of sex life, Jamnacharya says in this connection, Jadavadi mama cheta krishna padara vindi nava nava rasa dhama nidyata rantum asit Tadavadi vata nari sangami smarjamani bhavati mukha dhikar sustu nishthi vanancha. Since I have been engaged in the transcendental loving service of Krishna, realizing ever new pleasure in Him, whenever I think of sex pleasure, I spit at the thought, and my lips curl with distaste. Jamnacharya. And Bhramal live in a great king who enjoyed sexual happiness in various ways. But since the latter engaged himself in the service of the Lord, he enjoyed spiritual bliss, hated to think of sex life. If sex, sexual thoughts came to him, he would speak with disgust. Prahlad Maharaj says here, the sex life is compared to the rubbing two hands to live and eat. Gromedis, so-called grahasthas, who have no spiritual knowledge, 
think that this teaching is the greatest platform of happiness, although actually it is source of distress. The Krupanas, the fool, who are just the opposite of Brahmanas, are not satisfied with repeated sense of enjoyment. Those who are hero, however, who are sober and call it this easy, are not subjected to the suffering of fools and rascals. <coughs> Very important statements are given by Lord Maharaj because he is an eminent Mahajana. Mahajana ji ko isi satyamani. One must follow the footsteps of Mahajana. Mahajana ji na gata sabanta. And must accept the statements given by Mahajanas. The very, very conclusive statements is down. Hmm. Here, Prahlad Maharaj says, how oh, the sex life, hmm, which is compared to the rubbing of two hands, to lay one each, is tuchan, very, very insignificant, he says. But the Krupanas, those who are not Brahmanas, opposite to Brahmanas, hmm, the fools, They want to get such satisfaction, such happiness by enjoying sex. Mm. They are known as Gromedis or so-called Grastas. They have no spiritual knowledge. For them this eating, that means this sex enjoyment, the greatest platform of happiness, but in actuality it is not happiness at all. It is the source of various distresses. Therefore, Prahlad Maharaj says, one who can tolerate this itching, hmm, Filled with hero, sober hmm, person. The hero means sober, will not be disturbed at any condition of life, or any circumstances. Is hero is undisturbed, hmm. and he will never be subjected to the sufferings of fools and rascals. He says. Mm. Yes, so this is very important instruction, and one must take lessons from it. Take it seriously. We are spirit souls, eternal part and parcel of Krishna, the Supreme Lord, who is Sachid Ananda Maya, who is full of pleasure. So as a soul, we want pleasure. But here in this material world, there is no pleasure, no happiness at all, because it is Dukhalaya. It is a house filled with miseries, Dukhalaya. How can you get sukha or happiness in a house? which is filled with miseries, as one cannot get water in the desert. Similarly, one cannot get any pleasure or happiness here in this material world. Only suffering, only unhappiness and distress. Mm. But these Gromedis or Krupanas, so-called Grastas, who have no spiritual knowledge, they think that the greatest 
pleasure here, happiness here is to enjoy sex life. Prahlad Maharaj here compares that pleasure with the eating, with the rubbing of two hands, relief each. You understand? And there is eating sensation. In the beginning, it is very pleasurable to eat. Oh. <laughs> eat it. But at the long run, eventually, what will you get? You will get restless. This time. Because that there will be great source, great that eats, is great of pain, every movement. You understand? That is the outcome of this pleasure, eating senses. So one must take lessons, so learn this thing. In the beginning, which seems to be pleasurable, is source of all distress in the long run. In Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna has said about that, this happiness, three types of happiness, <coughs> Tam Sik Sukra, Sik Sukha, and Sattvik Sukha. You understand? Hmm? Tam Sikra, Sik Sattvik. <coughs> I got three more, so we don't need that. You understand Tam Sikra, Sik Sattvik? Huh? The sattvic soap, that means the happiness derived from sattva guna, is to be considered best. And that soap in the beginning is distressful, but in the long run it is happiness. But palm seek soap, raw seek soap, in the beginning it is there's some happiness and pleasure, but in the long run, they are distressed or miserable, giving much pain. Mm. Krishna said that thing. Mm. Especially the sex life, mm. enjoyment of sex life, as the Lord Maharaj says, Gromi di Sukhangi Tutsam is very, very insignificant. No happiness at all. Though it apparently seems to be pleasure. This comparison is very appropriate comparison. This rubbing of two hands to relate each. And my revered spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada, your gifts, generally this is found everywhere, especially found in Western world. But there are regular elements to search for sex life in different ways. You understand? Mm. Yes, say, even the hippies. Those who have given up all the materialistic comforts of their fathers and grandfathers cannot give up the sensation of happiness and sex life. In that world, the stone world, the civilization, my Guru Maharaj says, dog civilization, dog is such a sameless creature that it enjoys sex in the open road, open day, light in front of everyone, similar creature. Similar in that Western world, they enjoy sex life, in broad daylight, 
Wherever you go, you'll find there is success going on. In market, in the club, in the arrow, drum, airfield, everywhere. I have seen it. I cannot look at it. Oh, what is this? It's going on. And they think it, this is civilization. It goes on in the name of civilization. You see. Therefore, mind Guru Mahara said, what sort of civilization is that civilization? It does are doing such things. And these are, these people are doing here. Huh? Those hippies are doing like that. Mm. So they should take lesson from the statements of Prahlad Maharaj. How oh, the sort of mm, sukha, the happiness, sukham, tuchang, very, very significant. Not sukha at all. You understand? Mm. He had quoting in reference to the low grade happiness of sex life, Jamnatarya says, Jadavadi Mamacheta Krishna Padar Vindi Navanavarasa Dhamma Nirdanta Tung Asit Tadavadi Vatanari Sangam Smarjamani Bhavati Mukhavikara Sustuni Stevenancha. Since I have been engaged in transcendental loving service of Krishna, realizing a new pleasure in Him, whenever I think of sex pleasure, I spit out the thought. My lips curl distressed. You see? You understand? Atma, the soul, all want pleasure, but which is real pleasure? What is the real pleasure? As Jamnacharya says, engage yourself in the transcendental loving service of Krishna and get pleasure. Ever new pleasure. There are new pleasure. You see. He gets such pleasure. And if by chance the thought of this sex pleasure enters into mind, the spirit said the thought. Mukhavikara Susto Nishtivanancha. What pleasure? No pleasure at all. But the so-called civilized persons here, mm, persons in that civilization, they think this pleasure, that means this uh, sex pleasure is the greatest platform of happiness here. Of force and rasa, krupanas. Krupana nyadriptanti bahu dukha bhava. Prahlad Maharaj. They are getting so much miserable conditions of life. <coughs> Still they are not satisfied. Yes. Not, not dripanti. Not satisfied. They continue that. All right, all right. This is very nice, very nice. We'll go. We'll get pleasure, we'll get pleasure, we'll get pleasure, we'll get pleasure. And getting more and more distress, more and more, and still not satisfied. Such rascals, scruples. Many instances are there. Who is an intelligent person, a real wise person, she can understand this thing. And he can realize this thing. But those are false rascals, scruples, they cannot understand this thing. Though they get so much distress and happiness out of this sex life. That for Shastra says, mm, not to be attached to such sex life. 
Prahlad Maharaj gives very nice instruction, very important. This is chapter 9 and already we have discussed in chapter 6 this Prahlad Maharaj instructions to his demoniac boyfriends. He says, Kadam priyayan kompitaya sangam rahasyam uzirasya mantra srosu tasneya sita sisunam parakharanam anurakta chitta tejat kosaskruti vehpamana karmani lohad avitrupta kama aupasta jeham gohumanyamana patham virajeta duranta moha Prahlad Maharaj. Do you understand? Eh? You know this verse? You don't understand. You can't understand. Prahlad Maharaj says, the so-called Guru Medhi, here, he says Guru Medhi. Yeah? Such so-called Guru who have no spiritual knowledge, who are very much attached to the sex life, to their wives, you understand, getting pleasure from them, they say. Oh, my wife. Oh, oh, oh. Her smile, so nice. Very sweet words. How can I forget? Katham priyaya anukam jitaya. Sangam rasyanta rusirasya mantra. How can I forget all these things? Again, I have small children. Huh? He has just started speaking, you understand? It is very so nice to hear. The small child has started speaking. Huh? How can I forget all these things? How can I give up all these things? Huh? And that why? She has come to give me two types of pleasure. One is aupastya and ajeya. Pleasure to the genital, pleasure to the tongue. Prepare, she will prepare nice dishes for me and feed me. Just sit beside me and give nice dishes. Honey, a light. Please take some more. Please take some more. Gives pleasure to my palate. And at night, pleasure to the genital. Upastham. How can I give up all these things and become a bhairagi? Renunciate. All these sadhus and sastras say, become bhairagi. How can I become bhairagi? I can't give up all these things. You understand? <laughs> he says, Prahlad Maharaj is instruction. You understand? And that Prahlad Maharaj says here, this Janmai Punadi Gwami is compulsory. And you'll find many instances are there in this Srimad Bhagavatam, which is the essence of all Vedic literature. Hmm. This association with women hmm, is a very, very dangerous thing. It's detrimental to this uh, spiritual advancement. You understand? In the path of devotional service. Lord Krishna has this instruction to Dhava. In eleventh canto, Srimad Bhagavatam, Strinam Sri Sanginam Sangam Tekva Duratatvama Kemi Vivikta Asina Sintayan Nama Adandrita Natadhasya Bhavit Plesu Vandasanya Prahimnada Josi Sangha Tadha Pusa Tadha Tad Sanghi Sumata. Lord Krishna says this thing to Uddhava. Huh? Those who are sore persons here, Prahlad Maharaj said, zero. 
association of women or the persons of past women greatest when time greatest one half is greatest in the more one person says hmm. such type of one half in some misery cannot be achieved from any other source any other way this is the greatest in similar bhav to ilam the kind of there is urvasi pururava episode episode manas urvasi pururava episode you understand we don't know urvasi a prostitute in heavenly planet you understand urvasi name her name is urvasi prostitute heaven planet sargalo You understand? Nice madam, very beautiful. Look at it. Purava was the emperor here in this material world. Very powerful emperor. Hmm. And by dint of his uncommon valor, he could become Indra. Do you know Indra? the king of the human planet the demons hmm so when he be- became indra sourvasi came to him the enchanted him so he was attracted by urvasi and fell in love with urvasi enjoyed sex with urvasi you understand Many, many years, you see. Still, he was not satisfied. Mm. At last, that old was he gave him up, just kicked him and left him. And old was he was just leaving, going out. At that time, that Purrava was running after her like a madman, naked. Like a naked madman, he was running after her and saying, "I die, O my beloved! I cannot live." I'll die if you just leave me. You see, you are just saying like that. Hmm. But 
at last. Hmm. That Urvasi gave him good relation. You understand? That Urvasi has said, hmm. <coughs> Why will you die? It's not good. Die? Do you know? These women are like tigress. Bruka ime, she says. Bruka means tigress. You understand? This tigress will suck your blood, kill you. Don't be attached to tigress. And don't kill yourself. You live, live, live. Why you live? Die. Hmm. In the eleventh canto, Srimad Bhagavatam, this has been stated very nice. Hmm. Statements are there of Urvashi and Pururava. Then Pururava came to senses. Do you understand? He says, he himself has said, he has admitted, Aho me mohavistara kama kasmala cheta saha Devyagruhita kanthasya nayu khannai me sruda. Surava says, hmm. So many years I enjoyed your body. I just embraced her. Huh? I am so much deluded by how many times the sun has risen and sun has set during that time. So many years. I cannot say. So much. I cannot understand, I cannot say it. You see, so much in the must. Aho me atma sammoho janatma dosidam krita kridam ruga sakrabarti naradeva sikhamani. You are saying, Purvava said, I was naradeva sudamani. Sikhamani. That means emperor of emperors. You understand? This emperor Pakesh, he became the king of the demigods, Indra. So said Naradeva Sikhamani. That means Ratsuramani, Samrat, is emperor of emperors. Huh? But I have become, I became just a toy dog. With the hand of a woman? You understand? Aha, alas! This is very, very amazed. I am very amazed. Very wonderful. How oh, I forgot my position. You see? Such is the outcome of this attachment to women. You understand? Yes, said. Kutasthyanu bhava syati jai sattva me baba janma gatsam striyam janti kharapata padata arita. You understand? Hmm. That Purrava says, as a hias runs after an siyas, a siyas. Do you understand? Himalas. You can understand? <laughs> a melas runs after a himalas. Do you understand? For sex. The himalas was, is running and the melas is falling. The himalas, what does she do? She just kicks with her hind legs. And the melas. Still, that melas runs after her. Karabat Padutarita. 
You understand? Similarly, Urvasi was kicking and Purrabha was running away. You understand? Such thing happened. So, now he was realizing, Guru was realizing, I am such a great person, hmm? great master, the king of the heaven, but where is my such greatness? Where is my strength? Where is my controlling capacity? <coughs> now I am, I have been kicked by Vasi, like a male ass is kicked by Sri ass, female ass. Do you understand? This. Kim vidya kin tapasa kin tyagi na stupi nava. Kim vivikte na mauni na stivir jasya mana hurtang. He says, very important. Hmm? Kim vidya kin tapasa kin tyagi na stupi nava. Kim vivikte na mauni na stivir jasya mana hurtang. If some man's mind will be attracted towards a woman. So, everything, all good qualities of that man will be destroyed. If he will be very learned person, if he may be a great ascetic, or it may, it may be a very great renunciator, Viragi, or it may be a very great law, Pandit, Vedic Pandit, or he may be meditating on a lonely place. But what value is that? If that person is attracted towards, if his mind is attracted towards a woman, is all valueless. His learning, his austerity, his pain arms, his renunciation, his scholarship, his meditation, all valueless. You understand? He says that. Mm. Sevaka varsha pugaan me urbasya dharar saran natrupya tyatma bhu kama banhi rahuji virja bha. He says, hmm? if you pour ghee and a blazing fire, the fire will not be extinguished. It will blaze more and more. Similarly, Purava says, Many years I enjoy Guru Vas. I just kissed her. Still, my unsatiated, this last is not satisfied. You understand? And similar statement you'll find in ninth canto, Srimad Bhagavatam also, Devadani and Jajati episode, the same thing. Jajati Maharaj has said, he enjoyed so many years Devadani, still won't be satisfied. Therefore he just says, Nadatu kama kama nangpo hoge no samyati. Habisa Krishna Bhatmi Bhuya Bhavi Bhattati. He says, huh? if you just go on giving pleasure to your senses, huh? the senses will not be satisfied. As if you pour ghee in a blazing fire, the fire cannot be extinguished. 
You understand? So many things are there. That's all I like. Mm. That he says, Indriyani pramanti ne harantiya pi jater mono. The senses are so strong, obstinate. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says the same thing. Here, Narada Muni says the same thing. Mm. These senses, material senses, are so strong, so obstinate, that even they attract, they drag the mind of a sannyasi. You understand? What to speak of others? You understand? Therefore, Bhagavad Gita Krishna says, Indriyani Pramadhi ni haranti prasamumanyam tanu sarvani sanjamya. To control this wicked mind and stand the first thing. If you are so eager to make advancement in this spiritual path, otherwise you cannot get it. Then he says, Namnagni Pramadhanama Krasakumma Samakumma. Narada Muni says to Zhushtu Maharaj, Sudham api rahoja yadunyat javadar takrup. Human is like a fire pot. Fire pot, fire pot. You understand? Huh? Fire. A pot containing fire. You understand? Human is like a fire pot. And Man is like a ghee pot. You understand? If you put ghee pot with fire pot, what will happen? Ghee will be melted. Isn't it? He says this thing. Similarly, huh? a man should not be with a woman in a solitary place. Even Sudanga Piraho Jayat Anyad. If even you should not be with your own daughter, grown up daughter, in a lone place. You understand? Because the senses are so strong, substantial. They attract the mind of a sannyasi. What to speak of that? You understand? It's very difficult. To tolerate or withstand this arts of sex. But if someone like Jamnacharya will take to this path of spiritualism, devotional service, accepting the Banapa spiritual master and just chant Hare Krishna and this guidance. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, 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 Hare Hare will be generated. You understand? Hare Nam Sankirtan will give you power of words. Otherwise, one cannot tolerate it.